Images of thousands of migrants assembled at the Poland-Belarus border have neighboring countries scrambling to prepare for the same. Tensions in the region continue to grow. Many say Belarus have manufactured this migrant crisis. Latvia is installing a temporary fence along a 37-kilometre stretch, which is about one-fifth of the Latvian-Belarusian border. However, in many places, it is physically impossible to install a fence due to rivers and bogs. So far, no migrant has attempted to cross it. Yet some have tried to enter Latvia, where there is no fence. On speakers, we play loud announcements in Kurdish, Arabic, English and Russian that entering the territory of Latvia illegally is subject to criminal liability. Most of the time it is enough and it's hoped they will return voluntarily. In Lithuania, there have been claims that its border guards are using dogs to keep migrants away. This accusation has been made by the Belarus State Border Committee which also issued unverified footage. No, 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 no. Lithuanian officials have strongly denied the allegations. Meanwhile, Lithuania's foreign minister has criticized Germany for initiating talks with the Belarusian president. Talks with Lukashenko are talks with a dictator. He wants to legitimize himself. For more than a year, he was not recognized. No one talked to him, but now he is being talked to. And as the crisis continues, fellow Baltic state Estonia, although not bordering Belarus, has been making preparations. The defence forces will partake in a week's training as a precautionary measure.